Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am Becky and today we are doing a remake of this layout that is in the top right hand corner. I did want to clear something up. I am not actually getting rid of my original layouts. I am keeping them in my albums. In fact, I'm not really scrapping those photos unless I come across a story that that photo would... Um, serve well. What I'm actually doing is just trying to make it better, make the design a little better than what I did a few years ago. I feel like in the past, you know, I haven't been scrapping very long. So in the past, what, four years, I think I've had a lot of growth and I think I can improve on what I have done in the past. So we're going to go ahead and get this started. I originally pulled out three photos instead of just one. Also, I am going to go with a smaller title. Like I said in this video, that title, that family title swamps the photo. I'm not in love with that. I originally pulled out three photos, but I am going to take one of those away and just go with two. I do use a pattern paper background. It is a, like a wood grain, kind of like the inside rings of a tree. And I am also going to be using that butterfly paper. Now, I just kind of stretched the paper out. I had to cut it to get it the whole 12 inches. And I use the rest of that paper to fussy cut as well as this paper right here I'm getting into with those two flowers on the edge. I am going to go ahead and fussy cut those out as well. I do find one more flower that I will also be fussy cutting. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take those butterflies and those flowers and I am going to heat emboss those. But first I'm going to go ahead and set up what I'm going to do on this page kind of. I am just going to use those two photos like I said and I am going to have a strip go across horizontally as well. On my original layout I do not have that strip but I also didn't have any pattern paper really. I had the border around the photos. I had a piece of vellum going vertically and then just those those leaves. Um, yeah, not a lot of pattern paper on there at all. And I do love pattern paper. So I wanted to get a little bit more on this one just to reflect what I'm liking these days, right? Apparently back when I made the first layout, I apparently was not that into the pattern paper, I guess. I don't know. So here's where I'm going to go ahead and heat, heat emboss. I just am using that static um, pouch, anti-static pouch. I'm going to press my butterfly into my Versamark ink and then I'm just going to put some clear embossing powder on here. Now all the clear embossing powder is going to do is it's going to give me a gloss on it and it's going to make the the fussy cut butterflies that were fussy cut out of pattern paper, it's going to make them feel a little bit thicker. I'm going to do that with all of the butterflies and I'm also going to be doing that with the flowers that I had cut out as well. I really like to heat emboss even with clear. Clear doesn't give like a big pow, bang, boom, but it it looks really nice. Like look, I don't know if you saw that before I put that embossing powder on there. The um, color was kind of flat looking, right? I'm going to hit it with that heat gun and it's just going to saturate. It's going to look so much more vivid with that, with that heat gun on there. I really like that. I think that looks really nice. So again, I am going to do that with all of them. I'm going to go ahead and cut this off and move forward. So here we are done with the embossing and I'm going to go ahead and just put those flowers down around the page. Now the other day my husband did take me to Tuesday morning and I was able to find a pack of the flowers that came from Auburn Lane. I didn't get to pick up any of this collection when it came out so it was really exciting for me to see it over there at Tuesday morning this past week. I went ahead and broke into that pack and I am going to use a couple die cuts from there. I do not heat emboss these ones. These ones I leave as they are, which when they're up close to the ones I heat embossed, they're a little bit faded out, which I think is kind of a neat effect. I'm going to put this big one right here and put a smaller one over to the side. I will stick a smaller one on top of this big one too, but that one I'm going to be putting up on some foam tape. 
So this weekend is the scrap party over at a Secret Not Secret Kit Club. I'm really excited to be joining in with that. I'm making this weekend a scrap extravaganza. So if there is something you want to be seeing in the next coming weeks, go ahead and leave me a comment on that and I can see if I can work it in this weekend because I am, all I'm going to do is eat and sleep and scrapbook and nap and have some drinks probably. That's what I'm going to, that's my entire weekend plan. I don't plan on leaving the house. I'll probably brush my teeth though. Okay. Let's not be gross. I'll probably do that. But other than that, I am just going to be at the house the entire weekend and scrapbooking. Of course, I say that now. I say that now. Something, something might come up because you never know. That's what happens, right? The best laid plans and all that. I also took some of the leaves that are the branchy flourishy leaves out of that pack I'm going to put those down around the page as well I did add one more butterfly up on here this one's kind of cute because I laid a butterfly on top of the butterfly but the butterfly on top is smaller than the one that's actually on that pattern paper it has a pretty cool effect in person I don't know that it really is reading it with the way this is, I think one of the photos at the end is going to show up a little bit better. So you see that I had cut out that that uh, 4 by 4 card that says just have fun. I thought, oh, I'm going to make that my title. So I pulled out these alphas and put just have fun. Well, I couldn't find how I, I couldn't find a way that I would like those. So I'm going to end up pulling away the just in my photo is going to be, or not my photo, nope. My title is going to just be have fun. I will pull out one of those Spectrum Noir markers that I picked up over at Close to My Heart. It's the uh, flesh colored ones, so basically peach. And um, I'm going to go ahead and color those alphas with that peach marker. These alphas that I'm using right here, what are they? They're kind of weird because I got, well, first of all, I got them at Tuesday morning. They are American Crafts, and they're called the Mento White. But some of them are not really white. They're kind of yellow and really gross looking. <laughs> so these are ones that um, I actually do need to color because some of them are not white. Apparently, they color over time. They change colors over time. After I color that, I will take out the Heidi Swap Color Shine in Gold, which is running dangerously low. I'm going to have to pick up a substitute for that and then I'm not going to do anything else to this layout and I thank you so much for joining me I hope you guys have a good weekend I'm just going to be hanging around the house scrapbooking like I said let me know what you think of this layout and I will see you next time bye guys <music>